Hello, everyone. How are you all doing this evening? Oh, gosh. This game does not like being tabbed out of. Hello, Harry. Hello, Baffling. Hello, Jacob. Hello, Olympic. How are you all this evening? Yes, we're doing a defense here tonight. We should have ourselves a wonderful, a wonderful little fight on our hands over here. As you can see, we're going to be using this urban Stalingrad nightmare. It's going to get quite intense. Good stuff. Good to hear. Glad to hear we're all well. Let's kick off our first defense of the evening. So, ladies and gentlemen, what are you going to be doing? Well, let's actually kick it off. That would help. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done these, so bear with me. <laughs> hey, Fig Jam. So, yeah, let's actually start the defence. That will help. Thank you, Jacob. So, yeah, you guys here are trying to hold this centre square. As you can see, you've already got a few little troops lined up here. Some of them are already in nice little defensive positions. You've got some anti-tank troops. You've got a few little squads. Here's your anti-tank troops with the PTRS rifles here. And the Germans are going to be attacking from this direction over here. Things are going to be very, very hairy for you. You've got to survive about 20 minutes, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see, the German scouting forces have already arrived to the area. Now, this is going to get harder and harder as it goes on. Like, literally, the waves will get insane as we get to the late game, ladies and gentlemen. So, you guys are going to have to prepare a very, very strong defense here this evening. You're going to have access to anti-tank rifles, uh, AT guns, as well as uh, some DHS, Dershk, DHSK uh, machine guns as well. The, oh, and mortars. Yes, you'll get 82mm uh, mortars. Lots of infantry. As well as some construction options, ladies and gentlemen. You will be able to build your own little emplacements and things like that. Uh, I don't know, Jacob, to be honest. Like I said, you just got to survive the 20 minutes. So it, whenever it happens, it happens. And you can see these are the scouting forces for the Germans. If you look at the map at the top over here. Oh, hang on, I'll uh, put the colours on. So you can see these are your troops over here. I'm going to turn off the occlusion because I hate the blue stuff. But yes, these are your wonderful troops over here trying to hold out against the German onslaughts. It is going to be a very hard bit of terrain to defend, I'm not going to lie. It is quite open, but I'm sure the Russians don't mind pumping reinforcements into the area here. As we can see, the first half track has come into view. He's parked up on the hill. MG at the ready. Oh dear, it's starting to mow down the brave Russians here. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this guy's face? Oh god. Indeed it is, Hayden. It's exactly like them. Only we don't go off kill counters, you just get a unit or an action each round instead. So, we do not mind about kills, it's all based on time. Ooh. These guys here are firing at infantry. 
You can see there is a German over there that they're identified trying to shoot her. So these light vehicles here, it is possible for, oh God, like that. It is possible for them to get destroyed. There are AT vehicles out there. They're PTRS rifles, which are anti-tank rifles. Indeed it does, Jacob. It gets extremely hard at the end of it. We're talking Tiger tanks by the end of this. So yeah. Here we go. Here's the second escalation of war. Okay. Now that. That is sneaky. Look at that. Oh, he had a right little, uh, a right little good view down there then. But yeah, you guys will be dealing with Tiger Tanks by the end of this, so you're going to need lots and lots of AT, and not necessarily just AT guns. These guys are surprisingly effective against Tiger Tanks when in mass. I mean, when in mass. Here we go. The German light armor has arrived on the battlefield, ladies and gentlemen. This thing doesn't mess around. I believe that's a 30mm cannon it's got, as well as an MG. <laughs> oh gosh that poor Russian then he just backflipped for some reason these PTRS rifles are still attempting to shoot at infantry rather than the actual tank oh well go on shoot at the tank oh look at that he scored a hit on the engine compartment that was absolutely fantastic the PTRS is there, proving their worth against the light vehicles. How are we doing on this side? Where is the tank for this side? Over here. So this one is making its way around the extreme flank. Hey, Lorry! Oh gosh, that is a horrible flanking maneuver by this tank. Here we go. The third escalation has now arrived, ladies and gentlemen. The Stug. These are one of my personal favourite vehicles. I don't know why, but I just think they look absolutely awesome. Look at this thing just rolling in, not caring about any of the infantry. <laughs> oh my god. It just rolled up on these guys. These poor few remaining infantry here. There, there is still an AT squad back here. But I don't know how effective they're going to be against a Shadog. How are these ones doing over this side? So the AT group is still alive on this side. Where's the Shadog? There's going to be a Shadog over here somewhere. Where is it? I can hear something. I don't know where it is, though. Let's have a look. Where's the map? Oh, it's over here. Oh, gosh, look at this. It looks like they've actually managed to take out quite a few half-tracks over here. It looks like they've been taking out the tracks of the half-tracks. No, they're just sitting still for some reason. They're absolutely fine. There's no reason for them to be sitting still, but they are anyway. Okay, I guess we just deal with it. <laughs> Uh, I believe maybe some of these do have AT grenades. I think one of them, these definitely fire anti-tank grenades. So these are AT units here. So you got the PTRS rifle, which is anti-tank. You got two of them. You got these, which fire anti-tank launchers. But the tanks need to be a little bit closer for them ones to be used. There we go. This tank has completed the full flank now.
No, no cutscenes this time, Jacob. It's really hard to find a uh, cutscene that wouldn't be copyrighted for this one. I was thinking maybe Sniper Elite, but uh, theirs get copyrighted apparently, so I was uh, I was hesitant to use them. Unless you're recording the Sniper Elite gameplay. So, yeah, unfortunately not this time. Tell you what, these light tanks are doing their job. Coming around the flanks and attacking from the rear. Oh, by the way, if you're interested in what the actual uh, weapon emplacements that you can use are, here they are. So this is the AT gun you will be using. The 76 millimeter. You got the mortar that for the weapon emplacements. And also, this is the uh, DS-39 machine gun that you can use. No, I can't, Mr. L, because it'll break their, uh, it'll break the uh, game logic. They won't have infinite ammo anymore if I take control of them. They'll, uh, they'll become a player-controlled character. And that means when I stop controlling them, they don't have infinite ammo. You can see, yeah, uh, there we go. The last of the defenders here now. And it is <laughs> the PTRS rifles. It's the anti-tank squad, basically. Well, it'll be... It'll be after the Tiger Tanks show up, I can tell you that much, at least. When the Tiger Tanks show up, you'll have about five minutes to survive. There you go, so five minutes from this point is when you'd have to survive. Yeah, look at that bad boy. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I do believe that the defense, for the first time, is over. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Your first vote of the evening is approaching. Now, what you're going to be doing here is voting on a unit type. That is the first thing you'll be voting on, on your action to take. You'll be voting on either buying infantry, buying a weapon emplacement, or doing some construction. So it does look like we're operating on a little bit of a delay this evening. Indeed, Jacob, construction. So, for construction, you can build some sandbag infantry areas. So, say if there's not enough cover, you can build yourself one of these. Well, actually, you get two, sorry, construction points. So, you can vote to construct and you'll be able to construct one of these or a anti-tank barrier, or a weapon emplacement uh, barrier, which is this one here. So this is your weapon emplacement barrier. This, oh gosh, let me, sorry. This here would be your uh, infantry emplacement. And then we can also make anti-tank barriers out of hedgehogs, say if you wanted to block off an avenue of attack to force them to come different directions then that's what you can do as well. So, you know, we could build anti-tank barrier there. And then, oh gosh, this is horrible when it goes out of the screen. And an anti-tank barrier across there, which would force tanks to come around that way and around that way. So, 
But yes, you would get two constructions if you voted for construction. So let's end that poll. Uh, it does look like you guys have selected weapon emplacements. So what we're going to be doing now is we'll start another poll and this will be voting on the actual unit out of the weapon placement list that you want to use. So they are your units from the weapon uh, from the emplacement list. Go ahead and vote on them. I thought it would be something a little bit different and a little bit interesting. You have subcategories that you guys can do, you know, construction. Because sometimes, you know, blocking off an avenue of attack will be far more important, you know, than having to, say, get an extra AT gun. Because the AT gun can fall, but the, uh, the, off the blockage would not. <laughs> It's for both, Jacob. You can build defensive units and you can also funnel the attackers. So it's up to you what you do with construction and how you unit. So let's end that there then. So you guys have chosen to get yourself a mortar. So let's go over here then to the mortar. And let's get ourselves a couple of mortar men. Only a two crew. So, where do you guys want this? So, these typically here are for your weapon emplacements. So, you've got the right hand side, the middle, or the left. Where would you guys want it? So it's in the square where you'll be defending. So guys, where do you want this mortar going? On the right hand side, over here. got middle as well two for right two for mid three for right yeah let's poll it why not And what I'll do is, wherever you select, I'll just put it in the uh, best possible position, really, for it. So there you go. Vote where you want this going. Left, middle, or right. Yeah, sorry, guys. We are working on a bit of a delay at the moment here. It looks like it's anywhere up to one minute. I don't know. A bit odd. Go on, one more vote. We need just a couple more votes. Yeah, well, we need to wait on that one vote, unfortunately, because there's still a split. That one troll who voted left. <laughs> we need one vote. 
someone hasn't voted. There's two people who haven't voted. Yeah, oh, there we go. In the middle. So, if we go for the middle, let's say we put it in here for now. That's fairly middle, yeah? There we go. Put it in there for now. So, it should be nice and safe in there. So, let's kick off Zavor and start the timer. So, it'll be interesting to see how this motor changes the dynamic. The only thing I just realised I would need to worry about is it may be hitting this tree here. <laughs> Hopefully it won't because it'll either be shooting over that way or over that way over there. Hey Dave, welcome! Ooh, I can already hear mortar shells landing somewhere. Someone's not having a good day. Ooh, right on the roof shell over there. Gosh, look, they all died pretty damn quick over here. God, I love that, how you can see the, uh, the shrapnel actually come out. Look at that. There was like puffs of smoke then as it landed. That's really cool. Ooh, that landed inside the building. <laughs> Dave, damn right, get them priorities. Always feed. That's exactly what I did before we started streaming. I had a damn big feed. That was a bit out there. Where was that aiming, guys? The enemy are over there. Here we go. The first vehicles are starting to arrive. Oh, we're in Detroit. Um, uh, it's hard to say. Kind of looks like it. <laughs> the chairman's got splat. My god, that mortar sound when it comes in though is just terrifying. That... Oh god, they are getting lit up over here. Get out of there, mate. Keep crawling away. Mortar shell landed right behind him. <laughs> Bring 
the mortar, I believe it's the 82 millimeter mortar that we'll be using. Let me just double check that. So yeah, 82 millimeter mortar. Jacob, why, why do you just keep quoting my own video titles to me? It's a bit weird. Look at this. A brutal fight isn't shooting there then. The Germans are trying to push the buildings here. Oh, I love the distant sound of them tanks there. Dunk, 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 dunk. Ah, when you're just at the right distance. You, oh, by the way, guys, is the sound all okay, by the way? I never checked that. Is it uh, too loud or is it just the right sound volume? Yeah, the Germans have captured the building here now. Oh, sounds fine. Good, that's what we like to hear. Oh, that is just terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, that is just not a position you want to be in. I do love the attention to detail in this game. This is absolutely fantastic. This area here, it's becoming a right mess. Ooh, the mortar there trying to take out this. Look at that mortar. Oh god, guys. Careful, you're gonna get spotted otherwise. I mean, they're getting close now. Oh dear. Uh, it does look like this side has almost completely fallen now. There's only a few little Russian infantry there. Hiding. Oh, can I highlight bodies? Yeah, there you go. 
There are all the bodies. So the yellow ones are allied units. The red ones are enemy units. I'll tell you what I love. When you get zoom in close to the tanks, you can hear the uh, turrets rotating. And the reload. Such a cool little attention to detail. Oh! Oh look, that bent the turret! He bailed! The mortar crew got them! Yeah, the Germans have taken quite a few losses. But you can see they have pushed into the area now. There's 10 minutes remaining on the clock to defend. And this game's so cool. It just looks amazing as well. You're the Russian team. <laughs> oh, you poor last two remaining men. Oh, there goes the mortar crew. They just got obliterated. I mean, when I say obliterated, my God, the entire bunker was almost blown to bits. What the fourth emoji? It's a blood wave. It's a wave, Dave. A wave, Dave. <laughs> Look at this brave dude here. Running forward, Luger in hand. Oh my god! He fired a rifle grenade at him. Did you see that? The guy was bravely standing there with his Luger. Oh, look at this. The German medic here. Trying to get rescue whatever he can. Or whoever he can. And I think that is that, ladies and gentlemen. I think they're all dead. Yeah, pretty much. Well, the only thing that remains... Is this gun over here, but obviously that does not count. <laughs> so there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's click the finish button and I'll go get the next poll ready. Unfortunately, in this, I cannot get the polls ready while playing the game because when I tab out, it makes the screen freeze. So. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is your community poll. Go ahead and vote if you want to purchase infantry, a weapon emplacement, or if you want to do some bits of construction.
So let's turn that then there. Oh, a weapon emplacement yet again. Okay. Let me get the weapon emplacement list ready to go. There you go. Go and vote on what weapons you want to use. God, look at these things. Absolutely terrifying beasts of war these are. Can you imagine being faced with one of them? You would absolutely shit your pants, wouldn't you? Okay, so let's end the poll there then. Looks like we're going to be getting ourselves an AT gun. Now, where would you guys like the AT gun to go? AT on the right. MOD on the right. So, whereabouts on the right hand side would you like it, guys? I mean, there is this position here, however, it is a little bit temperamental look. Half of it is blocked by vehicles. We have got this position over here, however, that does leave the flank behind it open up. I mean, we could have it just out in the open over here, and then you guys could build a defense around it later. Give us your suggestions. Whereabouts on the right-hand side over here would you like it? In the park? Yeah, we could have it over here. Doesn't look like the uh, barrel would actually fit over that defence there. You could have it somewhere maybe over here. Looks like they might have a good angle of that direction. You could take that way. And there's a possibility of defending that way. position the one in the middle and the shift on the soldiers on the right maybe behind the sandbags or on the road give this one a go Jacob stop spamming yeah we'll just give this one a whirl and see what happens if it's in a bad position we could always move it after But I've got a feeling it should do all right there. So it's got quite a wild, wild, wide field of view. It can sort of aim that way, and it can sort of aim over that way as well. Here we are then, our first German squad going in. Deciding to have a break already. Having taken one loss. Who was it who they lost? 
Oh, it was the medic, I think. I think the medic was the first to die. That is really unfortunate. That has got to be morale crushing, to be honest. <laughs> oh, God. God, that guttural sound when he died then. That was grim. Does look like most of the fighting's going on at the other side at the moment. Oh, gosh. Sorry about that. That was the timer. From the last first round <laughs> that's how long you had to survive ladies and gentlemen oh that was one hell of a shot <laughs> These guys are really brave hanging out in the middle here. You think they'd try advance through the buildings at least. Enforcement's coming in for him now. Oh, okay, interesting. Deciding to use the rear machine gun instead. So let's have a look. Can this vehicle actually shoot anything at the moment? Yeah, it's just out of reach. Oh no, it's shooting. Yeah, it definitely is shooting. But <laughs> it's shooting at poor, poor people. Look at this. The Germans are just sort of camping out in this building now. They are pinned down very heavily here. Oh, you poor guy. The Russians putting up a solid defense. Here we go. The light tanks are starting to come in, though, now. So it looks like the light tank is going around the far flank over here. I think everyone's the poor, poor people here at the moment, Fig Jam. <laughs> World War One and World War Two, definitely. Everyone was a poor, poor person. No one had it easy. I'm interested where's that other tank so it's over there somewhere the other tankers oh yeah there you can you can see it in the distance oh no that's the uh, half track oh where are they going where are they aiming ladies and gentlemen guys okay that was a bit weird The AI in this game sometimes is very questionable, isn't it?
God. That field gun really puts in some work there. SAT gun here needs to get busy. I think there's tanks in the way for him. He can't see any of the others, so. Ooh, I think a mortar shell just landed directly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much directly on it. Yeah, its tank track has been taken out. This thing's a mobile now here. Yeah. Quite good actually because they got the sandbag here which is sort of going to protect them just a little bit oh dear god i don't know what they're actually doing here it just looks like they just keep reloading the weapon There's just a driver left in there. Oh, the stuck gun is over here now. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh, it's because of the uh, view angle, basically. None of the units over this side they can see yet. So they haven't really shot at them. And now they've got a priority target in the Stug. So I think they're going to be focusing on the Stug at the moment. Yeah, I think they've just been taken out. down to our last few defenders here. God. Them 30mm cannons are insane. Tiger rumbling in in the distance. Oh god, he just got headshot then. Apparently the AT gun is still in operation? No, surely not. No, it's not. I don't know why it's up here. I think it's just the uh, the actual equipment, isn't it? Yeah, it's got no operators on it.
the last stand here as tanks around the fountain. Oh, you poor guys. And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. That is the defense. So I'm going to get the next poll ready for you. We can also work on moving that AT gun around a bit. So, uh, there we go. Now, what I think the best thing to do would be to move this AT gun here to over here. I think it'll have much more luck over here because it'll be able to keep that area safe, this area safe, and this area. It does mean though that it's not defending this area anymore. So, the reason I put it back here and not up here is because tanks come through this way here. So they would flank it from behind and you've got nothing to protect it at the moment. So maybe if you get some other troops later to defend this area or defend this area here, maybe then we can move it back forward. But I think at the moment the best possible position for it on the right hand side is probably there. Just so it can actually shoot down there and keep the flanks covered. Uh, it's a hard area to defend, guys. A very hard area to defend. But don't forget, you can make more emplacements if you need them. You will get two building actions if you vote for building. Let's end that there, then. So, you guys voted for weapon emplacements. So, just getting the weapon emplacement one ready. And there we go. Go vote on that, ladies and gentlemen. like the machine gun sound in the background just constantly going off so let's end that poll there then We're getting ourselves another AT gun, and where do you want this one going, ladies and gentlemen? I'm guessing you'll be wanting it on the left-hand side over here somewhere. Possibly even here. Where that tank keeps rolling up on you. But that'll be in the middle there, I think. Yeah, that'll be the middle. But left side.
It doesn't look like the barrel will go over the wood, I'm afraid there, Harry. That's the thing with these. Some of the guns are so low down. Would it work in the fountain? Yeah, it could work inside the fountain. What, over here on the road? Road, wood pile, fountain. Road, wood pile, fountain. Oh, or the middle. God, this delay is killing this. Honestly, it makes it so difficult. Yeah, guys, you, with the delay, you're going to have to give me description. I'm afraid. By the time you say yes, I've already... 30 seconds have passed, so... Yeah, fountain. Okay, right, let's test that there then. God, this game is so finicky when it comes to tabbing in and out, or if your screen, if your cursor goes off the edge. Like if my mouse accidentally goes off the edge of the screen, the game completely spazzes out. Yeah, I've got the timer going. The timer is already ready. I'm going, going, going. Where did I put it first? I put it in the uh, middle behind the sandbags. This is the middle over here. And I put it behind the sandbags in the middle over here. And then I put it on the road, and then it wouldn't fit behind there, so we put it in the fountain. Oh! Well, that's one way to clear out terrain. Always like the medics. Look how brave they look with the Luger. Mm. Oh gosh, I was taking a sip of coffee then. That was nasty. Oh my god. The screams that come out of him as well. Look at this guy bandaging up then. Oh my god. You know what, it's a shame that with the game updating that the gore mod is broken at the moment. I'd love to have the gore mod activated. They can see, they've got a pretty good angle down there. to the side then the AT gun doing its job oh god oh oh that is a nasty position to end up in mate but yeah look at that the AT gun there in the background ominous absolutely perfect shot
So, looks like some backup is starting to arrive now for the Germans. That's very true, Harry, yeah. At least he was dead before he ended up in that position. what these guys do a remarkable job of holding this little intersection look at all the guns over the floor oh god shooting at oh these guys yeah good position for an AT gun here as well oh look at that this AT gun is able to shoot over here oh <gasps> wow what a snipe Oh, that was an... Look at that. You can just about see the AT gun as a little dot in the distance over there. That was absolutely fantastic. So it does look like you've got some fairly decent coverage now, actually, with the AT guns. We'll see how things go, though, as the heavier tanks start to come in. Here we go. We've got a Stug coming in now. I believe that might have been the AT gun he just shot at. <laughs> oh, I love me a stug. They are very brutal. Look at all the Germans just dying over here, though. Like, three or four have just died while we're talking. But yeah, that Stug is picking apart that front defence there. Oh, I don't know where the Stug is on this side. Where the Stug is he? No idea where the Stug is on the other side.
Oh dear. The AT gun has been silenced over here, ladies and gentlemen. These dogs are deadly. For those of you interested, there's about 10 minutes remaining on the defensive clock. I already did, Harry. Unfortunately, it looked like it successfully got the hit on it earlier. And it does look like this one has been now silenced as well. Oh my god, that is a gruesome sight. So, it does look like we've only got a few units left here now. Mm, no, they're dead on that side. So yeah, it's just the mortar left now. This one random dude here is the last defender. There we go. The defense is over, ladies and gentlemen. So let me just get your poll ready. There you go. Vote on what category you want to select. Yeah, Jacob. I made it a uh, little bit better this time. A little bit harder to defend. And the attacking wave is also a little bit longer. As, sorry, you've got to defend the area for a little bit longer. I realised 10 minutes was not enough. To be honest, 20 is barely enough. And we're just waiting for a few more votes to come in. So let's go ahead and end that vote there then. Ooh, interestingly enough, ladies and gentlemen, we've gone for construction. So let me get the construction poll ready. There we go. That is your poll for the uh, construction. So, construction then. This is your infantry one here. This is your weapon and placement one here. And the anti-tank barrier is basically going to be hedgehogs. <laughs> oh, that will need that. Save it just in case it crashes.
Okay, let's go ahead and end that vote, uh, vote there then. Anti-tank barrier, where are we have it then, ladies and gentlemen? Where would you like this anti-tank barrier? Hey, Struts, welcome! I'm doing good, thanks, how are you? Where would you guys like your anti-tank barriers? You can build two of them. On the right side, you guys want to block off these areas here. So what do you want to do? These two streets? So we can do that area there and across here. Which should force them to either come down this one, that'll be behind your AT gun. On our left, at the back, between those two buildings. So this is the left, at the back, between the two buildings here. I'll tell you what, we'll just go with poles. So much easier. And then I'll just block off the streets that are... Well, that's it, because it's really hard for you guys to describe where you want it exactly, so... I'll just do the most logical ones. So we're going to block off the left hand side then. So logically, to me, the most reasonable places to block off would be over here. So that's your first deployment. And then use the uh, second deployment. Oh, and actually, no, you won't need it because... That's the edge of the map there, so that's that one blocked off. So you've got one more construction. Where would you like this one? Top of the screen. What? Up here? Block that off. Come on, guys. Give me some something to work with. 13 people and not one person has got a single suggestion. Oh, I'm just going to do it here. Не 
Did you hear that then? It was a singing Russian. Yeah, this will be interesting then to see how this changes the dynamic of the battle. Certainly gives the attackers some cover as well, actually, in the road. That's one thing. Are they all dead on the side already? Oh no, they're just in cover. Thing. It always feels dead slow at the start. It's really weird. And then it just scales rapidly out of nowhere. Like this, these opening salvos, so slow. And then a vehicle arrives, and then suddenly it just gets chaotic. Oh, he got hit twice then. Yeah, mate, stay in cover. Ooh, where's he going? Okay. Just a bit of wanton destruction and then parking up. What time for tea and biscuits is it now, mate? Oh god. Friendly fire! Friendly fire, chaps! This side appears to be very quiet at the very start. Most of the action that appears to be going on over here at the moment. Ooh, I hear something rumbling. Is it? That's really weird. That sounded like it was in my other ear then. Wait. For a second, I thought I had my headphones on back to front. Come on, attacking forces. Oh. It can be really hard as well just to spot them. Especially with them being all grey. Makes it really hard to spot them. I suppose that's kind of the point. Man, these just take so much punishment from that 30 mil cannon. Oh, 
that's nasty. <laughs> Harry, I know it's really confusing. I've done it in PUBG before as well. Playing with friends and stuff like that, and I'm calling out guys, and they come from the opposite direction, and it's just like, eh, whoops, sorry, headphones are on back to front. It does look like they're holding this area quite well, actually. It must be said. Only one loss so far here. So all in all, the defence isn't doing too bad. Considering how many dead Germans there are in comparison. probably going to be wrapping this up in about 30 minutes ladies and gentlemen but we will actually be continuing this tomorrow so we will be uh, finishing well maybe finishing up the stream tomorrow i know it's a weekend i don't normally stream but i've got a few spare hours so we'll carry on this tomorrow Gosh, the stug here. I think it just actually got taken out. It's possible. It's smoking. It's not taken out, but it's definitely hurting. Oh, there we go. The field gun may be actually effective against stugs after all. That's good to know. So I guess then your only true worry is going to be surviving the tiger tanks when they come in. Ah, look at this. The Germans here pushing forward now out of the ruins. See if the field gun can hold off. Go on, there's your targets. Do your work, chaps. Ooh, almost. It's a showdown. Oh, God, I think that was a good hit on the turret there by them. I think that might have stunned the crew of the tank, if not killed it. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. That, uh, that happened. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what is left here then. So we have got a few defenders. Oh, he's dead. So, as always, the mortar is left. We've got the field gun over here left alive. It has just been absolutely lame waste that that field gun has in the fountain area. I mean, look at this. So much wreckage from that one gun. There is a German here somewhere, apparently, that it's shooting at. Oh, I think it's this guy in here. They're literally shooting at this one man. Go on, turn your gun around. Go on, you can do it. Yeah, it's just that way. Oh, which ones are you shooting at, guys? Go on, just pick a target, any target. Just shoot. <laughs> oh, guys, there we go. 
My God, I think they just might have actually done something to that tank then. It's a smoking... Oh, look, you can see the holes in the back of it where the shell actually penetrated. I never noticed that. That's kind of crazy. Oh, and in the side over here. Ah, I never noticed that. The gun is still actually active here, ladies and gentlemen. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have said that. No, the tank is still going by the looks of it. Oh, look at that ominous thing there. Just come rumbling around the corner. Look how much bigger than the other vehicles it is. It towers over a stug. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they just got absolutely ruined. So let's finish that there, and I'll go get... This will probably be our final poll of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Until tomorrow. There we go. Go ahead and vote on what units you want to use. So, yeah, that was about 10 minutes remaining again. It was on nine minutes when I stopped it just, so... I hate how it always turns on this flipping occlusion thing. I hate it. Don't put on highlighted silhouettes. No one wants them. Well, let's end that poll there. Does look like we're going for emplacements again. So let me get the emplacement list ready. There we go. Go ahead and vote on what emplacement you want to add. Sorry. I didn't mean to yawn at your faces. Okay, so let's go ahead then and end that poll there. Does look like we're getting ourselves another AT gun. Now, where would you guys like this one to go? Up front, up here, to help protect against them at dastardly ones that come in from this side. Or someone mentioned about putting them in here where the mortar crew is and maybe moving the mortar crew. Uh, Fig Chan mentioned that. I 
You can even have them up here. They wouldn't have a bad line of sight over here. Yeah, front and centre, front and centre. Yeah, no worries. We'll try them out there. Let me save it, just in case it decides to crash. There we go. Let's see what this does then. Very picturesque, really, isn't it? I mean, even with all the destroyed houses. Oh, that was the MG42 that just went down. I must admit, I've always preferred the German gear. The German stuff has just always been way cooler than any of the other team. Teams, well, the countries. It just looked cooler, it always sounded cooler. It was always more efficient. Good shot there, then. That took out quite a few of them. look like it's very hard for the Germans to push on this side it's quite an open area they have got this building for cover but it doesn't provide much considering there's an AT gun watching it does appear that most of the fighting does happen on this side of the front oh gosh can hear a vehicle coming in here it is oh look at them they're going a totally different way now Oh yeah, Harry, yeah, definitely. That's why these are the highlight buttons. So like this, look, I can highlight all the guns on the floor. So I can actually pick up all these guns individually. Carry all the ammo off them, change the outfits as well. So you can pick up, so as a Russian, you can pick up German helmets and things like that. I love that. Look at that. Like a boss. Just freehanding it. Oh! The amount of shrapnel then that came off. Look at that, that is so gangster. That was proper drive-by tactics, that was.
Oh, I love doing that in the, the single player, Harry. It's loads of fun. You can break the single player really easily. I just equip everyone with sniper rifles. Kill all the enemy snipers and give all your guys sniper rifles and just walk them around the map, obliterating everything. So, where's this vehicle actually gone now, then? Oh, it's over here. I think they're a bit scared to come round the corner because they know an AT gun's there. These guys, I mean. They're just like, no, we're not getting round there. We know what's around the corner. Let's see this guy, though. Maybe he might catch the AT gun off guard. No. They know it's there. Oh, God, that was one hell of a hit. Uh, this is a bit suicidal, guys, in the half-track. Okay. I swear I just saw a chunk off one come flying out of there, then. Like, he wasn't whole. <laughs> that, that AT gun definitely does its job. What's your favourite uh, campaign, Harry? Do you like the German one or the uh, Russian one? I haven't really played much of the German one yet. Played quite a bit of the Russian one, and that's quite difficult, I thought. But it's a lot of fun. I think that's what makes the game quite interesting in single player. The missions are quite hard. Look at that. The Stug. He's got no choice now but to go around. <laughs> On this side, though, they're not having quite as much luck. Oh god, I actually saw the mortar round come in then. God, these guys on this side take a right pummeling. This one guy here. Yeah, mate, you stay prone. That's probably the most sensible thing you can do at the moment. Do not get up, otherwise you're pretty much dead. God. I love the physics. This game has such great attention to detail. I haven't actually uh, tried the dynamic campaign yet, Harry. I did give it a quick glance and I was like, oh, looks a little bit confusing. I'm going to have to spend some time learning what the hell's going on here. There was a lot of, uh, a lot going on. So I haven't really got around to trying it out yet. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I've been playing the actual campaign. Oh dear, here we go. That is some grimness there. The AT gun just shot right into the side of that. I love this, how the shells pile up. Ooh, they're actually taking fire from over there. There's a lot of Germans now pushing this direction. Is this AT gun still up and going? No, it has been silenced. This one has over here. I don't know what actually took that out. Maybe it was the uh, Stug or something like that. Yeah, let's go see this uh, Panzer. I think I just saw a Panzer rolling in somewhere. Where was it? 
There it is. Okay. Oh god, they can go down this way here. I didn't even realise that. I know I had that there. So I must have realised it at one point, but I completely forgot they can go down here. Oh, that was something, something angry. All them over there, that's a tasty target. You're all getting shot in the back, I swear. No, maybe not, maybe it's just me. Sorry, I know I'm spinning all over the place here. I'm just trying to find out what's going on. God. I love these things. So what we got left here then? Yeah, last couple of defenders. Oh god. Yeah, you poor guys. Oh look at this. They're right next to each other. This is how we do it. No! No! <laughs> oh well. That was the last one there, ladies and gentlemen. Did I actually even kill any of them? Oh, I did! I got a couple of them. At least I'm not that bad that I missed. <laughs> UAV online. <laughs> But there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, at least until tomorrow. We are calling that defense here. So, to be honest, at the most, he survived. Uh, what was that then? Nine minutes. So yeah, about nine minutes is what you've managed to survive so far, ladies and gentlemen. Which means you've got about ten minutes of dealing with <laughs> these bad boys. Oh my, yeah, definitely got your work cut out for you tomorrow. But yes, we are going to call it there. Just for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for tuning in. A massive shout out to all our channel members to ha who helped to keep this channel going. Thank you very much, guys. You are absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. And until tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you then.